Hi everyone and welcome to my introduction lecture to my tutorial on sculpting hair in ZBrush. I am Anna Briganska, 3D character artist with 10 plus years experience in game dev. And today I want to share with you my tutorial how to create a hair of any complexity straight in ZBrush. To get this tutorial, follow the link in the description. It's in my store on Flip Normals website, as well as my other tutorials how to render characters in my set and how to find job in game dev. So so let's start and how to sculpt hair in that brush. So in this introduction lecture we will talk about the theoretical part and in other four lectures we will proceed to the practical part. And I can assure you that using this technique you can create hair of any complexity. I use this technique every time when I sculpt hair and nothing changes. Any stylized hair can be created using this technique. On this screenshot you can see different hair styles of different artists and I know how to make each of them because each of them I can create using the same technique which I use for creating any of my hair. On this slide you can see the hair which was created by me for all my projects. So you can find here like the hair which we are going to create at this course which is in the middle, the hair which I created for my personal projects. So this is all same technique. And on these two screenshots you can see the hair which was a commercial project and I used it even when I was sculpting hair for my commercial tasks. In this tutorial you will learn how to create complex hairstyle with braids. I decided to show you absolutely everything and in this tutorial you will find out how to create braids without using any braid brushes from the internet. Braid brushes from the internet are good but they are not for every hairstyle and I think you should know how to create braid itself in case if the hair braid brush is not working for your needs. You will also learn how properly to detail the hair because very often I see on the works of my students and in general on the internet that people have problems with understanding to which extent the hair should be detailed and we will also talk about this at our course. We will also define the direction of each trend to make it look appealing. Hair is always about appealing. It should be aesthetical, it should be appealing, it should be looking nice and it's not that easy to make each hair strand looking exactly what we need. We will also enhance the hairstyle with flyaways. Flyaways are small little hairs like which you see here, here, here and I will show you the quick way how we can create these flyaways in, I don't know, in 10 20 minutes for the whole hairstyle. And also you will understand on what you need to focus first when you look at the hair concept. Because when we look at the hair concept we usually get lost and don't understand where to start, how to proceed, how to make it look nice, how to make it look neat. So I will explain all this in this tutorial. And of course we will create the hair that looks aesthetically pleasing, detailed and clean at the same time. And this point is very important for creating not only hair style but also what whatever you do in 3D. So let's proceed right now to the theoretical part and let's talk about what you need to understand from the concept. And the first thing which you should understand from the concept is what is the style of your hair. There are different styles of a hair here. I will show only like three styles and what you should to understand from them when you look at the concept. So if you look at the first picture, actually this concept we will use as a concept for creating our hair. And the style of this hairstyle is everything round. You can see that everything around there are a lot of C and S shaped lines and this is what you should keep in mind while working on your hair. The second example which is here in the middle, what we see from the stylization, the lines are almost straight, everything is choppy and angular and it's not usual hairstyle which we can find in the internet. So while creating your hair you should also think about these minor details which create the whole style of the hair. And on the last example here, on the third, you can see that the stylization includes sharp angles and lots of point of tension. So what we see here, it is not like the first one, not like the second one, because it has just sharp points and at the same time it has S shape. 
hair so it's something in between between these two hairstyles so first when you look at your concept spend about at least five minutes to understanding what style of lines does this hairstyle have next thing which you need to understand from the concept is the number of strands Yes, we count our number of strands. You need to create exact number of hair strands. Here it happens that not, not all the strands in the concept are clearly defined, but in this situation, yeah, we can use our imagination and add our own hair strands. But those hair strands, which we can clearly see on our concept, are very important to produce also on your 3D model because your client has paid for the concept art to do his job and right now he wants to see the exact copy of his work in your 3d if from the concept it's not clearly understandable the amount of hair strands that happens very often you can use your imagination and sometimes it is better to split a large strand into several especially those which are near the face those which are behind from the back you can still live as big ones but those which are in front of the head it is better to split them in smaller but again follow the concept what we do with areas which are not visible from the concept for example for this concept we have only this view we don't have our back view so in this situation you need to find the reference in the similar stylization it the closer to the concept the better in this case this is my hair which was sculpted in this tutorial and this is a reference which i found and my task was to make something between this reference and this reference but again with Without this reference it would be very difficult for me and I would spend more time also pay attention to the direction of the strands even straight hair as we see on the reference is not very straight it has specific direction specific shape so don't make hair just straight unless it is defined by the style also the hair in general has primary and secondary direction when we talk about primary direction that means that we take all our hair and we try to identify identify what the global direction my hair has when we're talking about the secondary direction it is a direction of each and every hair strand and it can be different in general it should be dependent from the primary direction but inside of the primary direction it can have and it should have different other directions detailing detailing is part which usually very complicating for junior artists because everyone tries to detail the hair as much as possible like you can see here there are a lot of a lot of details and in the end your hair looks messy don't exaggerate the detailing should not be that messy and how to do the detailing you will find in one of the lectures of my tutorial another very important thing which very often overseen by junior artists is tips your tips should be sharp round tips doesn't look like hair so you will need to refine your tips in that brush to make your hair looking really good and again how to do this quickly and without spending all your time for making the sharp teeth i show in the lecture another common mistake and uh, the strands should lie on top of each other not pass through each other y you can look at this picture and you can see that very often we hurry a lot and we see that our hair strands are intersecting illogically into other hair strands which is not good which is not great which is not looking nice and this problem this mistake reduces your score of the portfolio let's say like metaphorical score of your portfolio so on this screenshot you can see the way it should be done and the last and the theoretical part is it's very important to create layered hair what does it mean as you see on this picture i have three layers of my hair so we have the one which is under all the hair then the second and, and the third when you create your hair using this in mind you enrich your 3d model your hair will be looking really cool and much more interesting than if it were created just as one layer
So this is it. Happy to share my knowledge with you and hope you like it. And all other lectures for this tutorial you can find on my Flip Normal Store. The link in the description. And see you in the next videos.